Tom has a rehearsal space out, out in the San Fernando Valley. And it's just a big kind of open warehouse where the band will work on songs. And before they go and set up for the production rehearsals, they'll work on songs there. It has all their equipment, all the guitars. I mean, it's great. It's like the history of rock and roll, you know, on, on a wall. You know, it's got millions of, of you know, Rickenbackers and Fenders and stuff. And so they said they wanted to record there. And when that happened, you know, what we did is we basically just said, well, how can we get it to where they can feel like they're rehearsing? and they're not in a studio because they wanted to get a live performance and we decided that the best thing to do is use the, the venue board which is what they'd been touring with and so we knew it was really good at recording Pro Tools and the question was could we, could we use that as a monitor board, record, record the Pro Tools and still and be able to connect that to a D-Command board and record the band. Uh, Robert Scoville helped us out with the signal flow and we figured out there was a way to actually go through those two boards where it was coming into the venue and then going through the venue to the to the uh, D command board. When we kind of came up with the concept of having you know venue working as a monitor console and a centrally located Pro Tools system that is getting captured audio and then Ryan is mixing in another space, you know where that that whole celebration of ensemble is going on yet we're in multi-track recording. Man, that's 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 a really really cool powerful thing, you know. It really was great because the guys never had to wear headphones. They didn't think they were recording. They, as far as they were concerned, they were just rehearsing. You've, you've basically taken a, a live mindset and a live model, per se, and pushed it into the studio and say, well, this is what's working for us out here. Let's get in there and try that there. One of the things that was really good about making a record like this is that normally if I'm engineering something, I have to worry about the monitors. So with Greg doing the monitors for the band, it completely freed me to be in the control room just responding to what I was hearing. Mike Campbell, the guitar player, made comment several times, oh, it's so great not to be recording with headphones. That right there to them was just the biggest thing. All the guys worked up their own parts and it was just an amazing thing to witness. They had wedges and they were just doing what they normally did, except there was some guy, me, secretly, you know, off in the room recording it. And it's a whole new way of recording for, for everyone and, and we all love it so much because it gives us the chance to, to take performances that have more fire. With this, you, you're making an arrangement, you're going for it, you're, you're trying to make it all happen in one take and you can capture that and we were able to capture that and I think the, the band loved it, we all loved it. It's just the idea of having something to show up out of thin air and so that was, we're, we're thrilled about it. As opposed to going into the studio and doing, using all of the technology to create something that you're going to be challenged to perform live, you know, now we've gone in and captured the performance and now we're just going to go out and celebrate it in a concert. I mean, that, that's what's going on there and that's, what I, that's one of the things I love about working with the Heartbreakers is that a band that works in such a classic vintage environment, yet it's completely supported by this completely modern cutting edge technology, you know, I, I think there's some coolness to that. I've kind of always lived with this concept in digital, you know, that, hey, I can take something digital, especially in the Pro Tools world and in the, in the digital world that we live in right now, I can take something that is digital and make it sound extremely analog. I can go more analog than analog can go at times. But in all analog, I can't take that and extol the virtues of digital in it. it it's, it's a one-trick pony there. It is all analog or it's all nothing, you know. So that, that's a very powerful tool to have at our disposal, certainly for the live shows, for sure. I've always had a really, really good rapport with Tom, and I think he trusts me, he trusts what I do, and I think people underestimate that in live sound, I really do, because you know, you're, you're seeing the artist up there in their most anxious moment, you know, standing in front of 18,000 people, I mean, they, you know, they might as well be standing there naked, you know, they have to be able to trust the people around them to, to pull it off and execute it properly. One of the secrets to mixing the heartbreakers is getting out of the way. And you know, the, the technology allows us to do that. You know, I mean, it's a really, really cool thing. Given that the record was done very live, there's still some texturing that's done on the record with you know, effects processing, et cetera, you know, for uh, some of the stuff. I mean, Ryan's done some killer work with some of the delays and the reverbs and the spaces, and even some very shaped EQs on specific vocal parts, et cetera. And you know, I mean, the, it kind of plays right into our whole concept of kind of closing the gap between the studio and the stage. I mean, I, I can just take his presets. He's delivered all of his presets to me in plug-in form, and I just load those presets right onto Venue, and here we go. I mean, we're ready to go. I mean, we can use them right out of the gate. The story is, is use, using new technology to get really original, live, spontaneous music. 
you're getting the experience that the band wanted you to get. And so in that sense, I think that the, the stuff with the venue and with Pro Tools, it allows that communication to, to occur more easily. That whole workflow is now just completely closing the gap between the studio and the stage. I mean, it's really, really fantastic. Mama, think about